I've missed you. Carly. I know that we agreed not to see each other while I'm still married, and I really did intend to play by the rules, Jack. And I respect your feelings. But Carly, I do. I... But all last night and all this morning, I kept thinking about all the time we've wasted, Jack. I can't stop thinking about all the time that we should have had together. That we could have had together if only we'd been honest, and now that we are, that we're... That we're finally being honest, it just feels wrong to be apart. I know, I know. And I couldn't said... let this long day go by without seeing you. Without telling you I love you. Without seeing you and telling you face to face. I love you, Jack. I will always love you. We've made so many mistakes. not make another one. How'd you know I was here? I didn't. You thought I came here looking for you? Right, stupid me. I just thought that after that kiss, you might I actually never want to talk to about what's me, happening There is nothing us. happening But instead, us. you've been avoiding me. Why didn't you come to the phone this morning? I was busy. You were hiding. You know what I did after you called? I went to an AA meeting. Why? You didn't like alcohol to me, Jack. You taste so good. I can't help myself. But I don't know how to stop. So I can't start. Not again. So, no more kisses, no more hanging around together, no more meeting in the places we used to meet. No more. Okay. Okay, then. So why did you come here? Because I kissed you. And now you're feeling guilty? Well, yeah, I'm feeling guilty. I'm married, Carly. If you won't tell Janet, I won't. And what happens the next time I kiss you? Who says I'll let you? Well, then I guess we'll just have to stay away from each other. Can't do that. And you know what? It really ticks me off because it's the right thing to do. And I'm supposed to be this good guy. The guy who always does what's right no matter what. You are. No. <laughs> good guys don't make promises and break them. I've broken vows left and right to you, Janet. I didn't come here because I feel guilty for kissing you, Carly. I came here because I wanted to remember. I wanted to remember that woman that loved me and how she told me she'd always love me. I said that, all right. But then I lie a lot. Why did you come here? I wanted to remember the man who worked on a boat called True Love and dreamed of me. Can't believe it's gone. The boathouse. Nothing lasts forever. That's not what you used to think. I was young and stupid. You were never stupid. But this is. This is suicide. I can't, I can't do this. It scares me too much. I'm scared too. Good. Then we'll forget it. We'll both walk away and keep our distance. Okay. You first. You need to go home, Jack. Janet's probably waiting for you. When she sees you, she'll feed you. You two will end up in bed, and everything will go back to the way it was before you kissed me. Janet's not waiting for me, Carly. How do you know? I bumped into her when I went to the school to pick up Parker's homework. I asked her out for a cup of coffee, and she turned me down. Try again. She doesn't want to be with me, Carly. And I'm starting to get the feeling... She couldn't wait to get away from me. 
Well, whatever she's mad about, I'm sure she'll get over it. That's what I thought. She walked away from me, and I thought, I got, I got to go after her. That's my wife. I've got to force her to, to sit down with me and figure out what's wrong with our marriage and find a way to fix it. But I didn't do that. Instead, I came here. And you came here, too. Coincidence. You were thinking about us. That just proves that we're both much too sentimental. And we're both grasping at some romantic memory because the present is too hard to deal with. That's all it is. Is it? Find Janet. Go home to her. It's too late. You just saw her, what, an hour ago? Even then, it was, it's too late. Even before I met her, it was too damn late. I don't understand. When you came to me at the boathouse. Don't do this. You were wearing a pink dress. How can you remember that? You remember what you said? If you think I'm going to say it again, you are out of your mind. Then I'll say it. I love you. I'll always love you. You know you love me, too. Then what has it gotten me? Every time we've been together, we've ended up hurting each other over and over Usually again. Usually because you're trying to do what's best for me, Carly. And I'm always trying to do what I think is right for you. But it's always out of love. Always. Instead of fighting this, we need to face it. I can't. I can't do it again. What? I need you. No one else could have brought me back from the brink after Brad died. I would have wound up dead myself out there if it weren't for you, or wandering around the rest of my life. Eventually you would have come back. For the kids, for Janet. I came back because you brought me back. You wouldn't let me go. I know you better than anyone. Yeah. And I know you. You have infuriated me. You have shattered my heart, and you have turned my world upside down. And you want to go through all of that again? Why? Because no matter how much I think things are going to be better when I'm free of you, they never are. You feel the same way. Don't tell me what I feel. Oh, okay then. You tell me. How do you feel? I can't. Then show me. to me, not to Janet. Are you sure that it's over with her? I've let her down so many times, Carly. Janet's not going to be crying when I walk out the door. Well, you have to tell her. Face to face. I know. And you have to tell her before we go any further with this. Are we going any further with this? Huh? You think we can stop it? I want you to be sure. <sighs> I need you to be sure. I don't want you to move back in and then in a couple of days start feeling guilty about hurting Janet or, no. or start wondering if I'm it's really sure. going to work with us because I'm I sure. couldn't take I'm it. I'm sure. You belong together, Carly. Forever. You can never leave me again. Oh, you're right. I can never leave you again. You, you finish things with Janet, if you're sure that's what you want. Yes. I will talk to Janet, then... Then you come back to me. I love you. Don't say it again until you're really mine. <laughs> 